hello and welcome to my channel where I mostly share my love of fragrance and enjoying my collection. In this video, I'll be reviewing Bath & Body Works' new 2023 Bake Shop collection featuring three pound cake scents. Thank you so much for stopping by and let's get started. Bath & Body Works recently surprised us with a spring bake shop collection featuring two new scents. They're available in a fragrance mist, body cream, body lotion, and shower gel. And unfortunately, the new scents are only available online at this time. The packaging matches the design used on the newest version of Strawberry Pound Cake, even though it came out earlier than the new scents, so I'm including that in this review as well. The collection includes Sweet Petal Pound Cake, described as the perfect swirl of fruity and floral. Ice Lemon Pound Cake, described as a rich, tangy, tea time dessert and Strawberry Pound Cake, described as the sweet, airy treat you love. And now let's get on to the reviews. First up is Sweet Petal Pound Cake, which comes in the pink bottle with the rose on it. And this has notes of candied rose, raspberry swirl, and frosted bundt cake. And this opens with a soft, powdery rose. It smells like fresh rose petals, but it's not green, and it has a nice amount of sweetness. The raspberry adds a soft fruitiness that doesn't feel sharp, and there's a light vanilla-ish bakery note that faintly smells like cake, but it's really not very strong as it stays in the background. And in the dry down, I find that I'm really left with mostly the powdery rose, along with some light raspberry and the softened cake note. So to me, this is not really a gourmand scent, as I'm not getting much of the frosted cake throughout the life of the fragrance. It's really more of a sweet, powdery rose with added hints of raspberry and vanilla sweetness. I also picked up the body lotion and shower gel for Sweet Petal Pound Cake. And the lotion has the same sweet powdery rose and soft raspberry, but it feels creamier than the mist. The cake note is also fainter than in the mist, but the scent does retain the sweetness. When the lotion and mist are layered together, the rose is stronger and the scent is overall sweeter and creamier and the shower gel has a stronger raspberry note and a softer rose. It's still sweet and sugary, but I'm not getting much of the cake note at all. I wanted to compare this with the Pink Petal Tea Cake Candle, which has notes of pink rose petals, pound cake, and vanilla glaze. And while these don't share the same notes, it seemed like this candle may have been the inspiration for this scent. The candle has a really pretty fresh rose scent with a lighter sugary vanilla cake note. I find the rose to be much more prominent, but it's more of a realistic fresh rose versus Sweet Petal Pound Cake's fluffy powdery rose. So these aren't too similar, as Sweet Petal Pound Cake is sweeter with a powdery rose and soft raspberry. I also have one fragrance comparison, which is Bath & Body Works Whipped Rose and Vanilla, which has notes of crushed rose petals, cocoa flower, and whipped foam. And this smells like freshly cut rose petals, followed by the raw cocoa note that has a latte-like quality. It's a really pretty scent with an airy vanilla cream sort of sweetness. So while these are both sweet rose scents, Whipped Rose and Vanilla has a fresher rose, the cocoa latte note, and an overall airy quality, while Sweet Petal Pound Cake has a lighter powdery rose and the soft raspberry. Next up is Ice Lemon Pound Cake, which comes in the yellow packaging with the lemon on it. And this has notes of sugary glazed icing, pure lemon zest, and fluffy pound cake. And this opens with sweet, heavy cake, as well as some lemon, which I don't find to be very tart. The lemon intensifies a bit, as does the icing note, which smells like sugary vanilla. But then as it dries, the lemon fades, and I'm left with a mostly sweet vanilla frosted cake. The scent is nice and sweet, but I wish there was more lemon throughout the life of the fragrance, although I will note that the lemon seems to be stronger on clothes than on skin. To me, this is very much a gourmand cake scent, and I did find it to be lighter than Sweet Petal Pound Cake. I got a couple hours of wear where the scent was more noticeable, and then it became more of a skin scent. And by that point, it was mostly a really sweet vanilla frosting that was much less cake-like than before. I also picked up the body lotion and shower gel for Ice Lemon Pound Cake, and the lotion smells very similar to the mist but the lemon is stronger and has a bit more tartness to it. The heavy ice cake note is also present and begins to dominate the scent, and there's also some added creaminess. As far as the shower gel, it has a stronger lemony note than the other products, 
but it still has the sweet sugary cake scent as well. And to me, it really just smells like lemon pound cake. I of course wanted to compare this with the ice lemon pound cake candle, which has notes of sugary glazed icing, pure lemon zest, fluffy pound cake, and whipped cream. So the notes are the same, except the candle also has the whipped cream. And this is more lemony than the fragrance mist, and the lemon is a little tart. It has a similar sugary sweet frosted cake note that combines nicely with the lemon. And the scent also has a creaminess that's not as vanilla heavy as in the mist. I really like the candle, and I wish that the mist was also more lemony and not as dominated by the cake note. I have a few fragrance comparisons, and first up is Bath & Body Works Sunwash Citrus, which has notes of sugared lemons, mandarin, and agave nectar. This is the only other lemon scent I have from Bath & Body Works, and it's a sugary, candied lemon scent. And the lemon is pretty strong and tart. It also has some sweetness, and to me, it's basically like lemon candy. Sunwash Citrus is pretty different from Ice Lemon Pound Cake because the lemon is quite prominent and much sharper. It also doesn't have the frosted cake note, so it's more of a fresh citrus scent versus a super sweet gourmand. Then I have Bath & Body Works Vanilla Confetti Sparkle, which has notes of creamy cake frosting, rainbow sprinkles, and vanilla bean. And this doesn't have lemon or any fruity notes, but it's a really sweet frosted vanilla cake scent. And that cake note is similar to the one in Ice Lemon Pound Cake. If you added a lemon scent to Vanilla Confetti Sparkle, I think you could produce something similar to Ice Lemon Pound Cake. I also wanted to compare this to Lyra by Zerjoff, which has top notes of blood orange, bergamot, and lavender, mid notes of cinnamon, licorice, and jasmine, and base notes of caramel, vanilla, and musk. And I was surprised that I didn't have any other lemony cake scents, as I could really only find this one in my collection. This is a niche perfume and is a bit pricey, so I just have a little one ounce bottle. It opens with a really strong citrus, and while it doesn't list lemon, the combination of the bergamot and blood orange feels very lemony. There's also a sugary sweet gourmand quality that isn't quite as cakey as in ice lemon pound cake. Lyra obviously has other notes, so these aren't dupes, but it's predominantly a sweet lemony gourmand with some added florals and spiciness. Lyra also has way more citrus and is much stronger overall than ice lemon pound cake, which is to be expected since it's an eau de parfum. And the last scent in the collection is strawberry pound cake, which comes in the red bottle with the strawberry on it. And this has notes of fresh strawberries, golden shortcake, and whipped cream. And this is an existing scent that's usually always available. And as I mentioned earlier, this version came out a few months ago and was originally online only, but is available in stores now. If you're not familiar with this scent, it opens with a sweet strawberry that feels sort of candied. It has a noticeable cake note, along with additional sweetness from the whipped cream. The strawberry note is quite strong, and overall, it's a very sweet gourmand scent, but it can feel a bit heavy at times. It's noticeably stronger than ice lemon pound cake, and the fruity note is much more prominent. I have one fragrance comparison, and that's Bath & Body Works Strawberry Snowflakes, which has notes of juicy strawberry, whipped cream, and iced bergamot. And this is a delicious strawberries and cream scent, with a little brightness from the bergamot. The strawberry feels very fresh, and the cream has both a vanilla and powdery feel to it, that I like to describe as whipped cream dusted with powdered sugar. Since it doesn't have a cake note, Strawberry Snowflakes is a lighter, creamier scent, and is a good alternative for those who find strawberry pound cake to be too heavy or cloying. Unfortunately, Strawberry Snowflakes was limited edition last holiday, but I'm hoping that it makes a return someday. Overall, I'm happy that Bath & Body Works released this bake shop collection because it didn't look like they were going to, and I do like both of the new scents. I think that Ice Lemon Pound Cake is nice, but I do wish it was more lemony and a little less heavy on the cake note. And I really like Sweet Petal Tea Cake. And while some might be disappointed that it's not more gourmand, I personally really love the powdery rose and raspberry combo. So that's it for my review of the new Bake Shop collection from Bath & Body Works. Let me know what you think of these scents and if you're going to pick any of them up. Thank you for watching. I hope that you'll subscribe and I'll see you in my next video.